one of the things I want to ask uh, the people who may be watching this video is what has changed for you in your ministry? Because I'm working on an update to a book of mine called E-Ministry. This is my book, E-Ministry, and it's Virtual Pathways for Spiritual Leadership. And I wrote it with considering people who had a ministry that were then thinking of having an adjunct. I, I didn't write it with people in mind who were going to have to jump away from everything they were doing and instantly transform everything. Yeah. So it obviously needs another, another, another chapter, and that chapter needs to be informed by what is happening, what, what solutions are you finding when you have to jump away like that and instantly change everything? What does this mean to you? How's it working out for you? What were your challenges? Because I want this to be a resource that uh, heavens forfend we ever need another one of these, but it's good lessons to catch and, and, and capture and, and, and have for people because there may be other reasons. Something might happen to a building and they have to just jump online. Um, <clears throat> one hopes that never, uh, and none of those things, but it's good to be prepared. Yeah. Right. Amazing. So yes, I'd, I'd love to ask that of anyone watching this interview. Have you, what did you have to do to, um, to respond what worked for you? What didn't work for you? What were the surprises? I have seen uh, images of churches where the pastor was there and there were just pictures of people in every seat, pictures of the parishioners in every seat. So it looked like they were there. Uh, you know, I, I believe wherever two or three are gathered in his name, he is with us. Mm -hmm. And if we're gathering on Zoom, he is with us. Yeah. That That's my my belief. But if somebody has a different take on that. I would love to understand that too. Mm. You know, do you think it has to be in person, two people at least, or three, to to have the presence of Jesus with us? Why? Um, uh, you know, I, I want to know. Really great question. We can definitely put that out to our Facebook page as well. Great. I'd, mm. I'd pre really appreciate that. Yeah. And I also want to say, Camille, how wonderful it is to feel like you're you know, you're able to put a face forward with your beautiful clothing and this, the feeling of it and all the other resources that you are providing. You know, some of those prayers that come out, they hit just at the right moment. Wow. You know, all of us can have those moments where we're feeling like we need a little encouragement and your encouragement has, it's really meant a lot uh, to me wow. on those mornings. So I go, oh, oh, I needed to hear that. What a, what a way to start my day. Wow, thank you. Mm -hmm. So Lauren. thank the, you. The feedback is always greatly appreciated. Yes. And yeah. I liked your book, Div uh, Finding Divine Flow. I thought that was really helpful also. And you know, your day timer, I I'm using that. You, you would think that during COVID, you wouldn't need a day timer. I know. But in fact, you do. It, it says, you know, you know, X o'clock, I'm going to be on Zoom with you and X <laughs> o'clock, something else is going to happen. Yeah. And I, I look at that and it, it helps me. Yeah, I've been amazed at how amazed at how busy I've been during this time. It's um, almost like it's more busy in some more ways. Busy, absolutely more busy in this time, and just the doors that God is opening. Opening, um, I, as I was saying on the Ministry Monday, um, I was really encouraged by the magazine. It's looking beautiful. It's so um, beautiful. <laughs> This issue, so beautiful. oh my gosh, is looking so good. Yes. Um, so I've been really encouraged by the self-care summer. Um, desperate to get it out because it's just needed right now um, out there. We're just doing the final finishing touches, but very convicted. And literally last week, and that's part of the delay, I was out for about three days because my neck oh. was in so much pain. And um, I thought it was sleeping badly, but I actually think it's all the Zoom calls. and It's got to be the Zoom calls. In this well, at least you're doing the right thing. by. Ha I was using just my camera's audio, yeah. and I found I was damaging my voice after a while. So much yelling towards that mm -hmm. instead of just being able to talk yeah. regularly. So, you know, it's not the prettiest accessory in the world, but it's a thing, and we need to use it right yeah. now. And, you know, it is what it is. Yeah, my husband set me up well. He's the musician and composer arranger, so he got me all my kit so it's so, so good ready. yeah you yeah. sound great i can Thank hear you, you perfectly yeah it sounds really good